Will I play this one? Where do you guys even find these games? The Coffin of Andy and Lele? A walk and talk adventure with light puzzling? Brother and sister practice cannibalism after witnessing a botched satanic ritual. What what did it a fuck fuck? What what did it a fuck fuck? You're, You're a little smaller than I imagined. That's how it starts. Good day, are you still alive in there? Some of you may have heard from your loved ones. No, I think I'm gonna skip this one, man. I, I think I think I'm gonna skip this one. Not big into satanic rituals, if I'm being honest with you. This one. Not big into I'm gonna skip this one. Not big into satanic rituals, if I'm being honest with you. I hope everyone having a good day today. All right, fine. I'll add it to my channel. All right, fine. We'll add it. Can I reload the chat? Proto should feel deep shame constantly. Hi again. You've played a bunch of Wrath of the Lich King and Cataclysm. I was thinking about playing hardcore. I was talking about playing hardcore last week. Literally a level one character kill. Brothel should feel deep shame constantly. Absolutely. Cheese to your heart's content, my friend. When people flame you for cheesing, what is actually... Brothel should feel deep shame constantly. Brothel should feel deep shame constantly. Absolutely. Cheese to your heart's content, my friend. When people flame you for cheesing, what is actually occurring is misplaced anger. There are no undefendable cheese. If you scout and react correctly in the defense, you will win the game. Deep down, they are angry at themselves for taking a preventable L, but many people aren't good at regulating their emotions and feelings of failure, so they push it onto you. I love when my opponents get salty. It feeds my power. Well said, Robothuck. Well said indeed. This guy is literally cooler than everybody else. It feeds my power. Well said, Robothuck. Well said indeed. This guy is literally cooler than everybody else. He's cooler than you. Absolutely. You thought you were pretty cool? No. Robothuck has got you, dude. Cooler than everybody else. Robothuck has got you. He's a real Sigma mill, absolutely. He's a real Sigma mill, absolutely. Oh, shit, I accidentally messaged the guy that was leaving a bunch of games. <laughs> Ray, did you just turn it into a coffee pasta? Not anymore, it's a, a black hole, yeah. It is really fun. You're tempted to try again? You've played a bunch of Wrath of the Lich King and Cataclysm? I can't cast that yet. I play WoW when I head to bed, you install Hearthstone, and it's 11 a.m. You were shouting at me, Watopia, last week that I shouldn't play World of Warcraft yet because you still had your RuneScape subscription going. So now you're subscribed to both World of Warcraft and RuneScape? My god. The influence is going strong. Yeah, it's it's a really fun idea, Nate. Yeah, it's it's a really fun idea, Nature. I it's going strong. The influence is going strong. Yeah, it's it's a really fun idea, Nature. I agree. Oh shit. Uh, we're not playing hardcore, guys. Oh shit. Oh shit.
Oh, shit. Uh, we're not playing hardcore, guys. <laughs> so, I'm game that you don't do drugs. Okay. I play WoW when I had to bet. Your influence is going strong. The influence. We're not playing hardcore, guys. Again. Really fun idea, nature. I agree. Oh, shit. Uh, we're not playing hardcore, guys. <laughs> playing hardcore, guys. So I wanted to show you guys the death mechanic in World of Warcraft. Because uh, as a night elf, you have this really cool wisp feature that basically allows you, um... Um, like, uh, yeah, you could yeah, it's really cool. So now that you... Um, like, uh, yeah, you could yeah, it's really cool. So now that you guys are all aware, I will not die again. I was thinking about playing hardcore. I was talking about playing hardcore last week. And then I realized I probably shouldn't. That would be a truly early way to die. Literally a level one character kill. This game, I actually forgot, like... And, um... I wanted to show you guys the death mechanic in World of Warcraft. I'll go one base ultra rush. It's a go on the StarCraft 2 subreddit. 18 minutes ago, on the StarCraft 2 subreddit. It's 18 minutes ago, on the StarCraft 2 subreddit. 18 minutes ago, on the StarCraft 2 subreddit. Character kill. 18 minutes ago, on the StarCraft 2 subreddit. Is cheese okay? When I play 1v1, if I've lost... Is cheese okay? Cheese okay. When I play 1v1, if I've lost... This is what we do to young, aspiring Protoss players in the StarCraft community. Yeah, we make them feel 18 minutes ago. When I play 1v1, I'm gonna rush on the next game, depending on the rating of my opponent. Is cheese okay? Cheese okay. When I play 1v1, if I've lost a Cheese okay. When I play 1v1, if I've lost a few games in a row, I tend to do an early rush or even a cannon rush on the next game, depending on the rating of my opponent, hoping for a quick win. Sometimes... When I play 1v1, if I've lost a few games in a row, I tend to do an early rush or even a cannon rush on the next game, depending on the rating of my opponent, hoping for a quick win. Sometimes, my opponent is very rude about it. Should I care? Should I avoid doing that? Is cheese okay? This is what we do to young, aspiring Protoss players in the StarCraft community. Yeah, we make them feel insecure even about their wins. Nice, right? We try to make sure that the Protoss players at a young age are punched down. Feel bad about it. Get shamed on their wins. Yeah, that's what we try and do. And yesterday, I thought this was great. I was I was trying to decipher it. I will give you guys a moment. I thought this was show you guys real. Quick. Let me show you guys real quick. I thought this was great. I was I was trying to decipher it. I will give you guys a moment. I thought the man had just slammed his hand. I will. I thought the man had just slammed his hand on the keyboard, but this is like the Rosetta Stone and trying to decipher the hieroglyphs. Okay, what it actually says is fungal growth good for cyclone. <laughs> it's so funny. I <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Hey, we have a new video above a million views. Serral versus Maru. Sick, dude. Two hours, 22 minutes? It's an encrypted message, yeah. Damn, that's a lot. That's a banger thumbnail as well. Oh, I think it was... BMW, where you had to pay a monthly subscription to get your heated rear seats. 
<laughs> so <laughs> you buy your car. It has all of the hardware in it, but it's software locked unless you pay your monthly subscription where you had, oh, I think it was BMW. Oh, I think it was BMW. I think it was BMW. Oh, I, think I think it was BMW as well. I think it was BMW where you had to pay a monthly subscription to get your heated rear seats. <laughs> so <laughs> you buy your car. It has all of the hardware in it, but it's software locked unless you pay your monthly subscription. Like that's nutty, dude. I hate everything about that. Oh, they dropped it? BMW drops plan- I think it was BMW, where you had to pay a monthly subscription to get your heated rear seats. <laughs> so <laughs> you buy your car. It has all of the hardware in it, but it's software locked unless you pay your monthly subscription. Like that's nutty, dude. I hate everything about that. Oh, they dropped it? BMW drops plan to charge a monthly fee for heated seats. Customers can now toast their Tushis without paying a monthly subscription after the German automaker removed it from the digital store of added features. This is in September, guys. This was a thing. That's so bad, though. That's genuinely so shitty. Oh, no, no, they're, they're definitely real. They're not definitely not bots. What do you mean they're, they're not real? Yeah. Elon Musk told me there are no bots anymore on Twitter, so... How, how can it be a bot if there are no bots? Come on, Gabe. You gotta think sometimes, man. I have many female followers, absolutely. Several percentages. Low single digits percentages. That really? No way, bro. Did I did I save before I left? I think I did. What? Why did I change the demand of that? Dude, Loco from the past is an idiot. Absolute moron, dude. What in the world? What a guy. W what what a guy. Past Loco, dude. Keck W, am I right? Why did I... Did I... Did I save before... No way, bro. Did I... Did I save before I left? I think I did. Kazijan3000 just subscribed. Happy birthday, Gabe. Low party. I think I did. What? Why did I change the demand of that? Dude, Loco from the past is an idiot. Absolute moron, dude. What in the world? What a guy. What? What, what a guy. Past Loco. Dude. Keck W, am I right? So now it's correct, right? Remote supply, local demand. Yes. Okay, okay. Take two. W what? What a guy. Okay, okay. Take two. Wait, wait. Water did the same thing. Oh, thank you for catching that. Why did I change that? I don't know. Fiolco underscore underscore just subscribed.
Okay, I don't have a lot of stuff anymore. I have 21 drones. But I have an awful lot of units. Is that a dark shrine? Is that a dark shrine? But I have an awful lot of units. Is that a dark shrine? Is that a dark shrine? Oh, it is a dark shrine. Is that a, is that a dark shrine? Oh, it is a dark shrine. Crap, that's really bad for me. Oh, it is a dark shrine. Crap, that's really bad for me. Uh, I basically need to win the game with these units that I have right now. And I need to do so before I lose all of my structures. I'll send my drones across the map and we'll make some gases, I guess. Okay. He can obviously use DTs defensively too. Although I don't know if he has any of them over here. I think I might win the base race though. I think I might win the base race, though. I don't know if he has any other stuff out on the map. We'll send the drones around the map to scout around. Obviously, the win condition is to destroy all of your opponent's structures, right? Yeah, there is a Dark Templar chasing some of my units here. Should probably target the Nexus, but... Is this the last structure? GG! <laughs> I told you guys the veiling bust was amazing! Oh, he's, I think he's just gonna go for an all-in. Yay, 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 yay! That was very close. <laughs> Not bad, though. A black hole. Do you want to be. <laughs> Rexter, would, would you want to be a black hole? Black hole. Do you want to be. <laughs> Rexter, would you want to be. A black hole. W do you want to have a mass of 99.172 M's? Whatever this is. Yeah. This will now be known as a Rex Stores black hole. No, uh, no Rex Rex No, it says it over here already. Excellent. Excellent, Rex Store. There you are. I will have you pinned on the screen. Rex Store's hole. There it is. Right in the depths of space. We will be... Will we be... Yeah, we will be traveling to Rexter's black hole at some... I, I, should we go visit it? I kind of want to see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a break first. Right in the depths of space. We will be, will we be, yeah, we will be traveling to Rexter's black hole at some point. I, I, should we go visit it? I kind of want to see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a break first, man. What the, <laughs> the fuck am I saying? 
Pick first, man. What the fuck? Am I? What the fuck? What the fuck? Am I? What the fuck? Am I? I have to take a break first, man. What the fuck am I saying? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, Rex. Oh. Man, it turns out words matter. And not even just the words, but also the order in which you say them. You can't just say words in a random order and expect it all to make sense. To be fair, what I said was a perfectly normal sentence. It would have worked with literally any other name for the black hole. Well, not literally any other name, but... A lot of names would have been just fine. The phrasing is important, yeah. yeah. Subtle difference between the two sentences. That's a tiny black hole. It's not about the size of the black hole. That's a tiny black hole. It's not about the size of the black hole. <laughs> it's about how you orbit it. Yeah. yeah. It's a tiny black hole. It's not about the size of the black hole. <laughs> it's about how you orbit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it is thirst day. Yeah, no fair. I will take full responsibility for this one though. I, I just misspoke. I didn't mean to say it like that. In my defense, I do say many words. Just go, Loco. Trust me. Yeah, there's one planet or orbiting this place. And that's kind of sick. It's actually really nice. So look at me speeding up. I can only go 2,000 meters a second. We're going quite a bit faster now. It does look cool. What the heck? The black hole is a cylinder? Oh, jeez, that's trippy, man. Look at me speeding up. I flew through it! Oh, jeez, that's trippy, man. It's trippy, man. I flew through it! That was actually really cool. Oh, I can warp out of it. Ha! Huh. The black hole is a cylinder? The black hole is a cylinder? Oh, I can warp out of it. Okay, I'm gonna load my previous save. That was actually pretty sick. That's how black holes work in real life too. Did you guys know that? Fun fact. That's exactly how black holes work in real life. Guys, guys, let me rephrase that. I wanna go check out the black hole that is named after Rexdor. Not Rexdor's black hole. <laughs> it does literally say it on the screen now. I didn't mean look at the black hole that is named off the screen now. Look at, at the black hole that is named after Rexdor. It's only 10, 11 light years away. Wait, just stop, Loco. Okay, fine. We'll just go visit it. Yeah, I want to have an, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to rename it back to what it was previously named. I don't know if I can make it, guys. The event horizon is a dangerous part. We're going to get spaghetti. I'm sorry, Rex. <laughs> Black holes work in real 
I'm gonna load my previous save. That was actually pretty sick. That's how black holes work. It turns out words. What am I saying? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how black holes work in real life too. Did you guys know that? Fun, fun fact. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rex. Man, it turns out words. Okay, I'm gonna load my. Ah, I should probably unmute my microphone. I am, I am a professional streamer. Madame Pew Pew's resub. Hello, everybody. Ah, I should probably unmute my microphone. I am, I am a professional streamer. Madame Pew Pew's resub. Tr I, I got confused. I got confused. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. I had already unmuted myself on my audio interface, but not in my live streaming. Apparently, double muted. Double muted is the next way to do it. That way, rather than no audio, you guys get no audio. Twice. Pretty, pretty great stuff. Anyways, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all uh, doing... <laughs> stuff. Anyways, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all uh, doing... <laughs> we're, do we're, we're redoing it. We're redo redoing it. We're redoing the entire thing. I'm just here for the lulls. Ladies and gentlemen, you Welcome back again to another live stream. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. My name is Loco. I think the resub message is still coming in. I know, I know. Welcome to the beginning of a stream, guys. The beginning of a stream, guys. Next month, we're gonna have a two years old relationship, lol. Lol, I thank you very much. Appreciate you as well. Thunder General, Madam Pew Pew. Thank you guys for the support. Yeah, two live streams in one day. Thank you, guys. Two entire days. Actually, wow music. I uh, hadn't listened to this just yet, but apparently this is copyright. Today I want to do a little bit of StarCraft 2, and uh, that's the plan. Uh, uh, but I think you guys are probably gonna get a kick out of it. You'll- No, they're just- Of the- Yeah. Yeah. I think I can- That didn't help. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea, mate. Several new Yakuza games came out this year. Really? You like the Yakuza games, Pete? I had no idea, mate. That's amazing. Why did you add- Why did you add cat? Why did you add cat ears, bro? What? 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 <sighs> that was unnecessary. Hashtag Roddy in the club. <laughs> the ice? Yeah, the ice really completed. Gate made it worse, yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. How many games of the year are there in a year? That's a good question. I think I get one of the games. How many games of the year are there in a year? I can upload as many games. I've started specifying them though. Rename them to games of the month. No, 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 Echo. Um, bump. Love that we got the lo-fi back, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Starcraft. And yet here we go again playing some Starcraft. Yeah. How I imagine what my opponent looks like when they ask me a, a random player race question mark and I answer tulips. Okay. What is your your most controversial Starcraft opinion? 189 comments. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. That the game only needs slight tweaks to balance and is highly balanced compared to other franchises? That's not even remotely controversial. What do you mean? That's how 98% of people feel. There's like three guys on Reddit that are genuinely upset all day, every day, but... Nah, 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 I think... I think this is... Yeah, no. 
it's mostly the universal opinion that Wings of Liberty had the best best story of the three by a lot. The only odd thing was Jim going from promising to kill Kerrigan to being deeply in love with her. That is also not controversial. I think everybody thinks that the Wings of Liberty campaign is the best one. Legacy of the Void is the best campaign and the only reason people look down on it is because of the epilogue, which should be considered the ending to all three campaigns, not just Legacy of the Void. Legacy of the Void also had the best ending with the Protoss retaking their homeworld after nearly 20 years of real-time waiting. Slightly controversial sure maybe a little bit yeah i think it's okay three to four spawn locations on maps would be a good idea to add to the ladder you could always veto it guys this, this it's not it's not it's, it's not controversial do people forget what the word controversial means this is what half of the, the StarCraft fans would like to see. Pros should have to play all three races. We would have a much healthier scene. Yes. See, that's cool. Who would be the best StarCraft 2 player if they had to play all three races? It would still be Serral. <laughs> yeah, no, it would still be Serral. But, but, you know, no, it would still be Serral. It would be fun. Absolutely. Mothership Core era was the best. See, that is also controversial. And wrong. Furthermore, objectively wrong. Your opinion? No. Doesn't matter. Terrans have it too easy. Both of the other races have to deal with drawbacks, but Terrans have a tool for everything. Free scouting, invisible detection for their satellite dish. There are no surprise attacks because of the sensor tower. Every marine is also an anti-air cannon. They don't even care about dying SCVs because they have mules. The list goes on. Terrans go camping with a big deluxe camper wagon, while Protoss and Zerg can feel lucky to get a sleeping bag and a tent. You know, the only thing that bothers me a little bit, and that's not, not really named over, over here, but the supply drop? I don't care about the mule that much, or the, the scan ability or whatever. I really think the fact that Terrans Terrans can drop a supply depot out of the high heaven is, is is a bit dumb. Like, the other races can't do that. So I complained about this on stream once upon a time, and I found out when I complained about this. I feel like this is gonna blow at least three people's minds, okay? Let me get the exact numbers for it. I feel like this is gonna blow at least three people's minds, okay? Let me get the, the exact numbers for you. The supply depot takes like five seconds longer to build than both, both the Overlord as well as the Pylon. And apparently that may be the reason as to why. So the Overlord's 18 seconds. Supply Depot is 21 seconds, okay? And the Pylon is also 18. So, maybe that explains why Terrans can drop a Supply Depot out of the high heavens? I don't know. Other than that, I don't really like it. No. How? Only Terran can get free instant supply, no? Oh, you can move command a bunch of your stuff into your opponent's base. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, fair. fair. You can kill your own units. The game was better with the Mothership Core? No, <laughs> no, it was not. The only reason Protoss struggle at higher level is because expansions are too long a walking distance from main bases. Both other races have faster defense mechanisms. Yeah, no, I don't think that's true, but Infested Terrans were fine. I also don't think that's true. <laughs> Zerk has always been OP and always will be, okay. Gimmicky maps should have to be commonplace. Screw the sentiment that it's already too hard to play as it is. Fair. The problem is, though, gimmicky maps, I think most players are okay with. The problem is imbalanced maps, right? Like, I think most people would be down to play maps that are gimmicky and balanced, but it turns out that most of the gimmicky maps are just straight up imbalanced. Where, like, one race has, like, 70% win rate over the other. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can't narrow it down to just one. 
Many of the personalities in the StarCraft 2 scene are pretty shitty. Dishonest StarCraft 2 scene are pretty shitty. Are pretty sh shitty. One. Many of the personalities in the StarCraft 2 scene are pretty sh dishonest people. I am pretty shitty. And I'm also pretty dishonest. I am pretty, pretty sh shitty. I am pretty sh And I'm also pretty dishonest. There's some drama here, but I, I'm trying to think. I can think of some drama with some of the StarCraft 2 personalities, absolutely. But... Many? I'm not sure. Ultras are weak is just a cope from bad, bad Zerg players, especially in- or at least in ZVT. I don't think anybody says Ultras are weak, though. Ultras are... are just countered easily. X unit isn't imbalanced, the map is the problem, is a me meaningless statement. This guy needs to elaborate a little bit more on what he's saying. X unit isn't imbalanced, the map is the problem? Is a meaningless statement? That's just factually incorrect, though. Sometimes maps can definitely be a certain unit is not used very well. Sometimes maps can definitely be the problem as to why a certain unit is not used very often. How how does that me make it a meaningless statement? Protoss legitimately was easy mode for a long time, may no longer be the case now, which makes it more difficult to take the present day balance concerns serious, regardless of how legitimate they are. <laughs> what? Protoss used to be Protoss used to be easy, is what he's saying, which makes current day problems less serious? Hmm, okay, interesting. Thank you very much, Rusty Tank, for the Prime sub. Max Pex constantly qualifying for four and then immediately forfeiting his spot in tournaments is fucking lame. Absolutely. Forfeiting his spot in tournaments is fucking lame. Tournaments is fucking lame. is fucking lame. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely lame. Now what do you do about it as a tournament organizer is the real question. I think it's fucking lame too. Absolutely lame. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely lame. Now what do you do about it as a tournament organizer is the real question. I think it's fucking lame too. I don't think that's very controversial. You have the best player in the world playing Protoss, qualifying for your tournament. I think it's fucking lame. Fucking lame. Fucking lame. I think it's fucking lame too. I don't think that's very controversial. You have the best player in the world playing Protoss, qualifying for your tournament. The offline section of the tournament is offline and he doesn't show. What do you do? Do you not allow him to play an online version of tournaments? Do you not allow him to play in anything? What do you do? <sighs> Terran was on average the hardest race th throughout the history of StarCraft 2. Well, we already determined that you were a, a Terran player just from your other points. I think that was pretty... The nationalism and xenophobia surrounding region locking was disgusting and a lot of the justifications behind it were dishonest. I mean, xenophobia goes a bit far, but... Alright. Yikes. Maybe we can ask Bing, yeah. Bing, give me some. <laughs> Yikes. 
Maybe we can ask Bing. Bing, yeah. Bing, give me something. Give me five very controversial opinions about StarCraft 2. Here we go. I think Bing can come up with something better than his Reddit thread. StarCraft is a dying game. The player base has been steadily declining since its peak in 2012 when the esports scene is overshadowed by other games like League of Legends, Dota 2, and Fortnite. Blizzard has also neglected the game in terms of updates, balance patches, and new content. StarCraft 2 is no longer the king of real-time strategy games and it will soon fade into obscurity. Ouch, Bing! Jeez! That hurts! Yeah, I asked for a cool Controversial opinion, not a reality check. Protoss is the most overpowered race. Protoss has access to the most powerful units and abilities in the game, such as Warpins, Force Fields, Storms, Colossi, Disruptors, Carriers, Cheese, All Ins, and Turtle Away to Victory. While requiring less skill and multitasking than the other races, Protoss is a race for lazy and unskilled players who want to win with, win with minimal effort. Big true. Big. True. Yeah. Terran is the most underpowered race. Wrong. Zerk is the most boring. I'm not even gonna read it, dude. Bing, Bing, Bing might be. Bing, Bing, Bing might be. Bing is a Terran player. Protoss is the most overpowered race. Zerk is the most boring. And Terran is the most underpowered. They're the weakest and most fragile in the game. <laughs> Big is just like the StarCraft 2 subreddit, man. He's a Terran player. Ay, ay, ay. What a guy. StarCraft 2 is better than StarCraft Brute War? Okay. StarCraft 2 is a more modern and refined version of the game. StarCraft 2 is more variety. Very good, Bing. What race do you play in S? SC2. I think we can get confirmation. What race do you play in SC2? I'm ready, Bing. I play... Ah, uh, uh, boring. He plays random. I like to challenge myself with different races and strategies. Sure. What race do you play in, in StarCraft 2? No, 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 Bing. We're not gonna fucking... No, 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 no. We're not gonna... Fucking. No, fucking. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Balance two v two, and you have crazy good tournaments to watch. Yeah, that'd be fun. That we need to let SC two go. It came out th thirteen years ago. Support and viewership are down. There are other great games. We had a great time with it, but it's time to let it rest. Okay. I'd play more competitive if Ascendants were in the game. Dude, those Ascendants are insanely overpowered. You want controversial? Okay, here we go. Powered. You want controversial? Okay, here we go. Protoss is not underpowered and has never been underpowered at a pro level. Death Balls and Protoss units in general have just been so strong for so long that pro Protoss players spent years never needing to learn the level of micro that the other races had to do in order to beat Death Balls of Skytos. So the second the game got more balanced, Protoss pros started losing because they simply didn't have the skill level of Top Zerks or Maru. Oh, a Ma Maru fanboy. Okay. Okay. Then instead of practicing, they just balance wind? I don't actually know if Protoss players generally balance wind. I I rarely see. Thanks for all the fun. Hey, thank you very much, Venice. Appreciate it. 32 months. I rarely see Protoss players balance whining. I feel like 95% of the balance whining is by Terrans. I, I really feel like that's the truth. Protoss players have been beat into submission over the years, man. They're like, you dirty. Then instead of practicing, they just... I don't actually know if Protoss players generally balance wine. I I rarely see... Thanks for all the fun. Hey, thank you very much, Venice. Appreciate it. 32 months. I rarely see Protoss players balance whining. I feel like 95% of the balance whining is by Terrans. I, I really feel like that's the truth.
Protoss players have been beat into submission over the years, man. They're like, you dirty cannon rusher. Urgh. Death ball. Urgh. Don't you dare and complain about your early game units. Right? I feel like that's been happening for 13 years and Protoss players are like, I feel bad. I feel bad about my and Protoss players are like, Protoss players are like, Like I, like, I feel bad about my early game units and my death ball, right? So they never actually complained that much. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit weird. Yeah. If Terran was losing as much as Protoss currently does, we would never, never hear the end of it. Maybe StarCraft 2 is a social experiment, man. What idiot play Protoss? <laughs> there are definitely some balance whiners for Protoss out there. Yeah. But the thing is, none of them are that good at the game. Hello and happy monthly anniversary. <laughs> think they do the game is mostly well balanced. Yeah. Protoss players are just not as good. Or they say, oh, StarCraft 2 is good. But that goes with any... Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a lot of people, right? Whenever they say, oh, StarCraft 2 used to be more difficult back in the day. I feel like a lot of people haven't seen a game. All right. Thank you very much, Big Dodo. Big Dodo harking back to... Do you think they deep fry instead of Crematinge? The game is mostly well balanced. Yeah. Protoss... Serral isn't the GOAT and has largely dominated an era much less competitive than the Kespa era. Just flat out wrong, though. But fair enough. Protoss is the hardest race to play, and the most un unforgivable. <laughs> this is a fun thread, look how many posts there are. Ay yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a lot of people, right, whenever they say, Oh, StarCraft 2 used to be more difficult back in the day. I feel like a lot of people haven't seen a game from that era that they're talking about at all. Like, if you load up a, a replay or a VOD or something of the Kespa era StarCraft 2 matches, they're horrible compared to what we get these days. Like, the average skill level has gone up so much that it's not even the same game anymore. Players are so much better these days. One, 100%. It, it's honestly not even close. You think Bolt in like 2013 is as good as like, like Clem in 2023? If you truly think that you're out of your mind, dude. Genuinely, it's not even the same game anymore. Bolt is like half a half a Clem. And not to trash talk Bolt too much, because he was really good. But Clem is so much better. But that goes with any any game, I guess, right? Or any sport. It's really difficult. Yeah, it's really difficult to compare the two. Like, how do you decide? who the best basketball player of all time is or whatever. Like, can you compare, like, modern-day basketball players to guys from 30 years ago? Kind of. It's a fun thought experiment, but... Different game. Different period. Best baseball player? Is Messi the best football player of all time? Yeah. Yeah, it's era-based. Exactly. Before, I like that. There, and, you know, it kind of... That's like, yeah, it's an update to chess. Music. What did I do to the music? <gasps> Bigger than the last? That was a win. That originates from. I haven't followed it at all. Have they made any sort of uh, politics? You're happy. Oh, I've never heard about one good thing from Alabama, other than sweet home. Al that that's that's. I'm 
I don't know about Banelings versus. Whole system is pretty sick, and uh, you can. What's this? What's this? Are these things on doors common? I have never seen them before in my life. Is this an American thing? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Are these things on doors common? I have never seen them before in my life. Is this an American thing? I think it must be an American thing. Okay. Every door has them? Yeah, we have some as well, but they're on the wall. Or handle. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, like, they're at the height that the door handle, handle, not knob, <laughs> would hit the wall. They're not spring loaded. Nah, mine are, mine are like, you know, mine are, mine are like, you know, my, my, my doors are pretty, uh, pretty light though. Isn't it, isn't it smarter to put them on the walls? Am I dumb? Like, what's the advantage of putting them on the door? Other than this fun thing. This seems kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Mine are on the wall and not on the door. All right. Usually it's on the wall. I see, I see. But I've seen these in a lot of videos on the internet. I've never seen one in real life though, I don't think. Usually it's up by the handle, sis. Because the handle sticks out. I thought we had found basically all the differences between the US and the rest of the world. It's kind of like, um, you know how like some animals are very similar? So it's obvious they share like a common ancestor somewhere up the tree, but then they evolved separately. It kind of feels like that sometimes, man. Like a lot of things are ever so slightly different and I can't figure out why, but I also can't tell you why we do certain things the way we do. It's an interesting way. Wait until you find out about shoelaces. Oh no. <sighs> what about shoelaces? Loco, are your walls drywall? Uh, what do you call drywall? What's the Dutch word for drywall? Droogmuur? Yeah. <laughs> Would that be... Yeah, yeah, gips, I guess. Um, these inner doors are... The outside ones, they're, they're very thick. I think they're concrete, but I'm not 100%. We don't put up... I've never... What's going on here? It's a weird place. If you're very bored at work today, six months caffeine free today. Is it that impressive? I don't know, man. Pe people are making these posts like it's fucking insane and like a very hard thing to... I don't know. Now we know why Cyril is the best player in the world. Cyril does drink coffee. I've seen Cyril drink coffee on many occasions, Fiolka. Speaking of coffee, cheers. Mm. Y'all consume caffeine. Did you just use the word y'all, shiny? Very nice. You have never drank coffee in three years? Get new Linux drivers? Who out there is still running AMD drivers or AMG GPUs from 22 years ago? This is cool. Defying obsolescence, AMD's 22-year-old Radeon GPUs get new... Who out there is still running AMD drivers or AMG GPUs from 22 years ago? This is... It would be nice if... Like, right? You see, it is funny, though, to see some of them come with a little bracket AM5 rebuilt in a... I much prefer the air cooling over the liquid cooling. 
As cool as the liquid cooling is, it's just too many points of error, man. And it doesn't really seem to have any advantages. No, no, no. 34 degrees is very cold. This is, uh, totally fine. This computer is not doing anything at the moment. What exactly is my computer running at at the moment? Let's see. Fans? <laughs> the exact opposite of total. Four. What a world we live in. Let's see. Can't believe it. Very dis. I think a lot of doctors are working the entire. I think we remember they were listening to. The I really considered that when I was when I was younger. You know, I was like, what? They're actually just at the office today. Doctors aren't humans, so that's what I learned. They are, yeah. Yeah, for you it's a life-changing operation, for them it's just Tuesday. Imagine a surgeon watching you while operating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the operating room right now. Dude, I remember I got an oper operation as a kid. And I very distinctly remember they were listening to the radio. They were just listening to fucking Sky Radio, which is a Dutch radio tele- Like a Dutch radio station. And this, for some reason, blew my mind. It kind of was just like walking into an office building. Or I guess they rolled me in into a, you know, they rolled me in in a bed. It was just like another day at work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but for some reason, I never really considered that when I was, when I was younger, you know? I was like, what? They're actually just at the office today. Doctors aren't humans. So that's what I learned. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for you, it's a life-changing operation. For them, it's just Tuesday. Exactly. Your nurse was hot as hell. Yeah? Like Pokemon? Pokemon nurses are, uh, yeah. I'm just a number? Whoa, whoa, shy guy. What the hell? Man. No, I'm not a barcode. I'm a real, I'm a real boy. She saw the inside of your stomach? Ooh. Well, if you've shared the inside of your stomach with the nurse, then I think you guys are... quite far. Yeah, how much closer can you be? I've been together with Loran for eight years, and she... ...together with Loran for eight years, and she has never seen the inside of my stomach. So... She was literally in your stomach? Yeah, that's like fifth base. I don't really know how that works, man. She was holding it open? Aw. Ah, uh, you do have to pay her for it, I guess. That's a good point. That makes it a bit awkward. I don't know what that... Mm, I don't know what that... Mm, I'm gonna play some Dyson Sphere program. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> really, Vera? She doesn't really care too much. What the heck is this discussion? Uh, Echo Soldier is flexing with the fact that he's got a stomach. It's a strange flex. He's like, well, oh, look at my not functioning stomach. And we're like, yes, Echo. Look, most of us have properly functioning stomachs, man. It's not a big, big deal. Just try to make it work better. What the hell? You have functioning ears? Yo, too far, mate. It's way too far. Whoa, Nemesis! 99 months! I have a wrinkly brain, guys. I do have a brain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got wrinkles. A picture of my brain. I have a wrinkly brain, guys. Whoa! Oh, Nemesis! 99 months! <laughs> The 99 month resub. Very good. He's got his Loco TV skill cape. That's amazingly well done, Nemesis. <laughs> it's green. It's untrimmed as well. Notice the detail. It's untrimmed. He does not have any other 99 resubs. That's good. That's very good. He only watches my stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is very funny. <sighs> he drop tricked it. Yeah, that's what Wardy did with his farming cape. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky bugger, huh? 
Wardy, Wardy has like 20 untrimmed farming capes. On a mixed account. He's a real gamer. Bam. Quick ad break. That was in the name. Watch him be accurate. Po Pokemon. <sighs> Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemensa. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thort is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thort is the anonymous man. This, this, like a this, long coat and everything. Incredible. This whole conversation is why we are playing StarCraft rather than being in Mensa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you saying right now? Imagine making StarCraft yeah. content in 2024. <laughs> we're, we're pretty Mensa, dumb. You... <laughs> If you were in Mensa, you wouldn't need to ask me that question. <laughs> Alexander's on the ground. Now you're a ship. You're supposed to fly. Kill count. Pain. I hope I have more kills than you two did. Me. Incredible. <laughs> so more IQ. <laughs> I have an IQ. Cube 930. <laughs> what does that mean? We could achieve if we set our minds to something, but here we are. We could be as smart as like nine regular people. <laughs> yeah. Woo. We did it, easy man. One. First try. Very easy, first try. Not even, <laughs> not even close. It was not even oh close. Oh my goodness. Uh, guys in the chat, don't cringe, okay? Gabe just shared a picture of his new internet. Oh my god, Gabe. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe just shared a picture of his new internet speed. Uh, guys in the chat, don't cringe, okay? Don't, don't be in pain. Oof. Two gigabit down, one gigabit up. Yikes. Now here's the real kicker. Gabe, now you gotta t tell us how much you guys have to pay for this a month. That's the real kicker. He's got 2,000 more than you. The real kicker is how much they pay for internet in Romania. It's nuts. This is probably like 12 bucks. I'm not even kidding. This is probably like 12 bucks a month. <sighs> 15 euro? There it is. <laughs> like 12 bucks. Fifteen euro? There it is. <laughs> you know, with these speeds, your bottleneck becomes your SSD. Isn't that nice? My what? Like your SSD's writing speeds. You know, with these speeds, your bottleneck becomes your SSD. Isn't that nice? My what? Like your SSD's writing. Isn't that nice? My what? Your SSD. Like your SSD's writing speeds. Of SSD's writing speed. My bottleneck? Is that some sort of. <laughs> Your bottleneck, yeah. That's a term. Okay. Like... Oh my goodness. I, I set my alarm to 7 a.m. last evening. I woke up at 8. Nice. Stupid battery. We bought a new alarm clock. It looked like uh, those really old, those really old timey clocks with the, uh, the two bells. Yeah. The two bells and the like the ones that, that go and you just yeah. fucking freak out immediately. Oh yeah, and you just yeah. go that go the, the like the ones that, that go The two bells and the like the ones that, that go and you just yeah and you just yeah just yeah 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 That go 
and you just yeah. freak out immediately. Oh yeah, that's I, a nice I, way to I, wake I up. I like the I like the design, and also I like I like also forcing my wife to wake up when I wake up. <laughs> Shh! Don't don't say that out loud. You were supposed to only think that. No, I'm I'm allowed to say it out loud because she she wakes up before me. me. Oh okay. She, she just chooses to stay in bed. Because I have the one I have to make breakfast. Ah, okay, okay. So your alarm didn't work. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's just the battery. I, to I was supposed to replace this morning, but I completely forgot. Now don't tell that to the wife. <laughs> just sitting on the couch. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, it's just the battery. So your alarm didn't work. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's just the battery. I have to replace it. Morning. But I completely forgot. Now don't tell that to the wife. <laughs> Just sitting on the couch right now. Oh no. Good think she's watching TV. It's okay. She's probably watching the stream. He's pro hey, let me check. <laughs> no chance. There is a lady holding a drink and then some lady talking to her. Yeah, that that sounds that looks that like, sounds like my stream. Yep. Absolutely, yeah, yep. yeah, that's my stream. She's probably like, that's, that's like a VOD. She's watching a previous stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go to bed so I don't wake up at 8 a.m. <laughs> All right, yo, thanks for guys, man. Talk to you soon. See you then. GG. See you then. We did it, guys. It took us only a GG. A single attempt on Zagara and 100% win rate. Look right here is proof that Tosh is canon. Did you just link one of my own videos? Did I title this video? I love you. 100% win rate. Look right here is proof that Tosh is canon. Look right here is proof that Tosh is canon. Did you just link one of my own videos? Did I title this video? I love you, Jim. Dude, Loco from the past was already playing the algorithm. He had no idea, man. Brilliant stuff. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas Station. Hey, it's Tosh! You've done your part. But when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered hey, it's to Tosh. infiltrate. No. You've done your part. Ah! Tosh is there. Yeah! This is back when I used to get haircuts. Remember those days? Yeah, yeah, this is when I used to have uh, shirts with... This is back when I used to get haircuts. Remember those days? Yeah, yeah, this is when I used to have uh, shirts with collars and stuff. I look 18 in this video. I think I am about 18. Yeah, give or take. Eh, give or take five years. Take. Eh, give or take five years. I was between the ages of 13 and 28, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. They cloned Loco? No, no, that's me. They didn't, they didn't clone it. Damn, you used to really hate the sun? Then. Bro, I go outside less these days than I used to back then. Yeah. I think it's honestly just the camera, dude. I do look a little, little paler on this on this thing, but I think it's just the camera. I am old now. That's that's what I am. I was so white. Oh, can you say that? I don't know if you can say that. Cancelled. I decided it just now. Yeah, I I think it's just the camera quality. I spent too much money on this whole thing. Whole thing. I have my white balance way up. I set it up a bunch of I don't know. My my lips don't do, look that red over here, but I do know that like sometimes I kind of mess it up a bunch. Ah well. Look at the other day I googled Serol Queen injection speed and a video of yours from 2014 came out. Really? I need to hop on that Korean skincare routine. What's the Korean skincare routine? What does that mean? Yeah, I do remember that crunched. That's a long time ago. Loco insulted half of his community with the sentence I'm old now. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Step by step. For some reason, I feel like we've been discussing age a lot over the last couple of months on this stream. We are now officially... Uh,
old people. Oh god. This is a video. Oh god. This is a video from nine years ago. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff. Camera hold key. Stuff. Great stuff. Camera hold key. So basically what Spacebar will do whenever oh, okay. I No, 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 I can't watch this, guys. I can't. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff. Camera hold key. So basically what Spacebar will do whenever oh, okay. No, 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 I can't watch this, guys. I cannot watch this. You're 34 now, turning 35. Damn, dude. That's pretty much midlife crisis territory, no? Is this where we get a, a mid, when do we get a midlife crisis? When do we get a midlife crisis? Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. We still have some time. 40 to 60 year old. We're nearly there. The definition of a midlife crisis is a period of transition in life where someone struggles with their identity and self-confidence. All right. You have a midlife crisis. This is a 23. <laughs> I was gonna say, I had this when I was like 15, dude. This was an issue when I was a lot younger. Yeah. What are the signs of a midlife crisis? Let's have a look. We can figure this out together. Kerrigan and Nova were finally alone. <laughs> even though they were enemies, even though they were different spices. S spices? You mean species? Like cinnamon? Anyways, thank you very much, Margarita, for the reason. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you very much, Margarita, for the reason. <laughs> Abrupt career or lifestyle changes. Okay. Behavior changes. Including becoming antisocial, impulsive, or irrational. Bro, we all play video games. I don't think I don't think most of us don't fall in the antisocial category. Chronic reminiscence and reflection about the past. Okay. Focusing on former lovers. Oh, okay, well, chat. Then, then it's not an issue, huh? You would actually have to, uh... Anyway. Just got back, we fig figuring out what's wrong with Loco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Dramatic changes in appearance. Hmm. Weight gain or weight loss? <laughs> you feel attacked. I get it. Religious and spiritual transition. I do suggest we start the Church of Sarah. But maybe that'll be a thing for later. Loco's new video is up. Very nice. Speaking of videos, I think I'm going to pick your versus Hello, everyone. Apparently, yeah. Anyways, guys, welcome back. I had to run up the stairs. I thought I lost Toby. I'll lower my volume a little bit. Anyways, guys, hope you're doing well. Good to see you all. Thursday afternoon over here at the very least. Thursday evening where Crown Lore is at. Thursday morning where Nolan is at. Very nice. Oh, hope you guys had a good Wednesday. Loco, when is Genshin? Um, I don't know, man. I've never played Genshin Impact. It's Friday morning? Oh shit, it's already Friday where you're at? All right, must be very early. Must be very early on the Friday in that case. Probably like midnight. Probably 12 minutes past midnight if I were to make a guess. What's going on, Panda Rook? Hello. What's up, Echo? And everybody else, hello. Hmm. Today we're gonna do some StarCraft 2 and then we're gonna continue building the Dyson Sphere. I wanna wrap up the Dyson Sphere playthrough, I think. I, uh, I've been playing that game for a long time. I've got a lot more other games that I want to go out and play, and we're actually building a Dyson Sphere now. 
It took a little while, but we're actually gonna build it. But first, the games. I've got two replays. I normally don't, guys. I uh, guys, I uh, didn't stream yesterday, but I did tweet. I normally don't catch shit for my Twitter or my X, my X posts. I had a couple angry people yesterday at my great tweet. I thought I was really funny, but be honest with me, guys. Is this a bad tweet? I was thinking about deleting it, but I thought it was funny as shit. <clears throat> so, a bunch of news outlets posted Twitch reportedly set to lay off 35% of their staff as soon as tomorrow. So I tweeted, the new 70-30 revenue split now apparently applies to staff as well. I thought it was funny! I didn't really mean it too serious. Um, I'm riding the edge. I didn't know. I thought it was fucking serious. Uh, I'm riding the edge. Am I no? I don't really understand. Like, I'm, I'm not really typing anything that bad. Anyways, I got some angry people, some angry messages. Is playing with fire? Eh, companies fire people all the time, right? And Twitch is not necessarily the most stable place to be at as a streamer or as a uh, staff member, apparently. <sighs> yeah, people get pissy about people obviously losing their livelihoods, right? So obviously losing your job is very stressful. But again, most people that work in these tech companies, especially in Silicon Valley, just kind of find a new job, it seems. They seem to go to other big tech companies pretty easily. So I don't really feel too bad for it, but... Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, Falcon. I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm just gonna keep it up. But in the tech market, people have three to four jobs a year. Yeah, I guess I'm rubbing in a bit of salt. That's true. Yeah, I'm rubbing in a bit of salt. I do want to do some more zero space too, but I think I'm going to give them a little bit more time to develop the game. Or maybe I'll reconsider tomorrow. We'll see. <sighs> I normally don't deal with a lot of angry people though, Clem. Generally speaking, most people at least are pretty chill. That, that I deal with, anyways. Other than this guy called Meerkats are cute, but everybody else is pretty relaxed, you know? Why is my light so bright? Turn it off. You're always angry. I know, I know. Other than Monday because then you've recently seen meerkats, right? But like, yeah, now we're in Thursday, Friday te territory. Now it's been like four, four days since you've last seen a meerkat in person. <sighs> Life stuff. I think I have to change the ISO of my camera. That better? That is. Blue R says, I get here 10 minutes late, so I don't have to see the crime against humanity. The count up? You don't like my count up timer? This count up timer is amazing, dude. You don't like the fact that it doesn't count down? Ah, uh, yeah. Loco, how was your ear checked? Um... So I have to get an MRI scan as well. Um... Basically, either my ear is royally fucked, and more fucked than the doctor thought it was, or it's not fucked at all. Um... Seems... There are solutions. It's cover on. And like again, long story. Come over here. Yeah, them of smurfing. Let's have a look at the StarCraft 2 subreddit, guys. Anything exciting going on over here? Artosis is a victim of smurfing. This discussion is never going to end, so I thought I'd pop this in. This discussion is never going to end, so I thought I'd pop this in. <laughs> Dude, the fucking widow mine, just nerve it, okay? Dude, the fucking. The fucking. Widow mine, just nerve it, okay? I think the StarCraft community is w way re ready for a widow mine. My nerf, and I think everybody knows that the widow mine needs to get nerfed. Yeah, everybody agrees. There you go. You hate widow mines unless you're playing Terran, then they're per perfectly balanced, right? Masters Coliseum round one. So this is the first. Those are all sick. 
Yeah. I feel like Bunny plays in very few. I don't see a lot of Bunny games. Firefly has actually been really good. So is this like a Swiss form? What's going on here? I don't think that's Bunny Warren. The downside of the Swiss form. Oh, what is this? I. Oh. What is this? I can, I can genuinely not tell with a lot of these posts if it's a copy paste or if it's real. Like, this could be a copy paste. I watch Artosis cast every day. His passion for the professional StarCraft industry is deeply commendable. I don't even play StarCraft, and I haven't for years, but it was a big part of my adolescence. I'm 35. His knowledge of the game is unmatched, and his genuine admiration for the pros makes every single casted game a joy to watch. Paste. I don't think it is that. His genuine admiration for this. His genuine admiration for this. You're not genius. Okay. A lot of them are fucking stupid. A lot of them are fucking. 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 Fucking stupid. <laughs> They're better than me at games, but you don't gotta be smart to do that. Apparently, I thought you did. I thought you I, did. I have seen, I have interacted with many pro gamers, man. There's definitely guys out there that are very smart, and then there are some that have very specialized knowledge. Let's put it at that, okay? They have incredible specialized knowledge, but their general. <sighs> Anyways, thank you very much, Grimdy. 90 hold up 90 we got to divide by 12 it's eight years it's been a super it's soon time for a divorce you are literally just about to sub okay fine all up. <laughs> name that unit it's arranged reusable <laughs> name that unit it's a ranged, reusable, burrowed, invisible, quote-unquote, baneling. It costs 75 minerals, 25 gas. Who's that Pokemon? ba da da It's the Widowmine! Since it's burrowed, it has to be a Zerk unit. Very nice. I hope it's not an in the game. It sounds OP. Ooh. Thank you very much, Boogeyman! Brian! Wait, where's Brian? Did you guys hear Right, it's a short little woo. Um, I think we already finished the internet. How to watch videos on YouTube. Always here, Brian, but your therapist. You've named the brainstorming how to buff protos. Very nice. Very nice. Your head to Brian. Council brainstorming how to buff, buff protos. Nerf Zurich and Terran. Buff the sentry. Buff the sentry harder. Assert dominance by making Tempest, Mothership, and Disruptor visually smaller? Buff the Cyclone and the Widow Mine. There it is. Very nice. I want to choose a new race. Diamond 3 Terran here. For a race that doesn't rely on. Bro, there is like this. <laughs> yeah, he's making it sound like there's a dozen options. Bro, there's only. My units, after I ordered them to move command up a ramp and fight the planetary at the Terran start. It's going on Monsoon. You want to get it? No. Just accept the jellyfish UFO. Oh, what the fuck is this? The jellyfish UFO. Oh, what the fuck is this? this we have a new ufo chat bro why do all ufo videos that i've ever seen in my life always ufo videos why do they always look like they are cameras from the 80s that shot them it makes no sense like all of us have high quality cameras in our pockets why do they all look like this who like who has like i don't even know what kind of camera you need to shoot this level of quality you would need a phone from literally like 1998 i don't know if they had, had cameras back then but because it's zoomed in digitally, I, I get it, but still, it does, like, like considering everybody 
He has got a camera in their in their pockets, right? You would imagine that at some point you do get a little bit more clarity. Maybe we can go to slash r slash UFOs. I've never been here before. A community for discussing unidentified flying objects. Let's look at the top rated for a year. A tweet from Edward Snowden. Another clear UAP caught on film flying by an aeroplane. Damn. I thought he was talking about the bubble on the window for a second. Maybe I'm just too... I don't know, man. It's very easy to edit this sort of stuff. Like, even if it's a, a real video, it's very easy to fake this sort of thing. But even if it's not, it could still be a million things. But not a bad, not a bad, not a bad post. Yeah, it could just be a paper bag. It could be anything. Amazing footage of a cylindrical UFO filmed by a drone in Hungary. Echo Steel, did you film this thing? That's amazing indeed. Caught this tic tac looking object near Nellis. I think that's a plane, sir. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. Oh, tic tac, as in like the candy, like the little. All right. Yeah, it's just not very exciting. It's also mostly just American news, it seems. Flying saucer captured on video over Colombia two weeks ago. All right. I feel like the stereotypical UFOs are not as interesting anymore, man. We now need these overlord looking ones. Like this, this over here, way cooler. Absolutely. Aliens love freedom and guns and F4. Yeah, yeah, F-150s. That, that makes sense. I didn't quite consider that. You lose because you're bad. I lose because you're bad. We're not the same. Very true. How it feels to beat someone with 500 less MMR. Your thermal. Say Terran gets buffed a patch or nerfed a patch. Or still buff or a top player. Is that hero blinking all of his stalkers? And not over the last half year has been pretty good. Not unit production. Aaron's which was like two viewers, approximately 50. Many of them have. Wait, am I out of electricity? <gasps> On the other side. I can make. I don't think I want to make that. Galferino, what's up, dude? Thank uh, you. For my enter ma or anti ma a little bit. I even complimented you guys in my new stream description. That's a mistake. I posted over here that I love playing games, especially together with this amazing community. Yeah, you know what? I did feel like a bit of a suck up when I wrote that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, that's great to hear my shit posting is appreciated. After I heard that you won't be able to change sticks. Um, I need to make... What's going on here? I need more sulfuric acid, don't I? Acid on Prime Gaming 1. It clears the pores. Like... <laughs> I should be a dermatologist. Hey, I just watched back the VOD where you tested the DT warp in with an offline dark shrine. And I was right, you still can warp in DTs. <laughs> but most of the guys said the same thing too. I went that for two seconds? Oh no. Is it storming outside? Power went out for two seconds? Uh, they were cold lipomas, yes. I still have to... Your power went out for two seconds? Oh no. Is it storming outside? That's usually when, when Mugetsu Gabriel has, has issues. When the wind blows really hard. <laughs> Gabe is out of power immediately, man. 
two and a half gigabit down. No longer working. <laughs> Gabe brags about his internet, but a light breeze could knock it out. He does have really fast internet though. For 15 bucks a month, mate. What was it? Two and a half gigabit down and up for 15 euro a month. Just when the wind blows, it becomes a bit unstable, but that's still insane. <laughs> He's got glass cannon internet. He's specced into speed, but not in sustainability. God, you gotta put your next level up points into hit points, dude. Gotta get some extra HP, maybe a couple defense. Yeah, very good point. When you level up to 10 gigabit, maybe upgrade. To sustain. <sighs> okay. I like how the towers are always eager to immediately... Okay. Additional production. Or does it just get picked up on 1k? I think it... Sysadmin is like, no, 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 it's not Sauron's tower, it's actually geek. I'm not proud of it, but it's true. Fair. Okay, now we gotta add a little bit of spray. That is funny. During the Empire, when Yoda was talking about- What is up with my pro- My antimatter fuel rods. Ugh, dude, I'm using deuterium fuel rods currently. Like a pleb. Honestly embarrassing. I want to be demanding some deuterium fuel rods. I want to have like 60 of them with me. I think that'll be good. I remember showing my ex Star Wars. She fell asleep during the Empire when Yoda was talking about the Force. No wonder she's your ex. That makes perfect sense. Yoda saw it coming. Yoda coming, he saw. Wait, mm, no, 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 hold up. Um, new deals. I figured this late into the game would be a perfect. The problem. Oh, you know what I can do? I can do an input line on both sides. We can alternate, dude. This is hype. So it's still symmetrical. Well, it depends on what your hype. Yeah, maybe it's not that hype. But I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Input. Are you making nice... What? What do you know? I agree. Dying and retiring from Twitch chat are basically the same thing. Shy Guy is saying you're dead to him when you don't tune in literally every single moment at work. Um, put the thing into the thing. You can distribute as well. You have a system administrations director as well. Not too much, but you'll get there one day. Old, your wife is planning on going one of those European river cruises. What's the bottleneck here? You're so old, your wife is planning on going one of those European river cruises. Hold up right now. You just assume that I am familiar with European river cruises. What the hell is- what the hell is a European river cruise? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Yeah, that sounds like what's, what Charles does in the, in the summer. Charles probably has a... a yacht. We have rivers. Yeah. We have at the Amsterdam uh, Rijnkanaal. Well, I guess that's not a river. You want to see this beautiful Rijnkanaal? This is the type of cruise that... Uh, yeah, we, we make everything ourselves, man. 
We don't really let nature fuck around too much. Look, this uh, you can get on board in Amsterdam. And then uh, basically this is what it looks like the entire way through. Isn't that super hype? Look at that, man. Wow. But this is a man-made river, though. This is a canal. It's not... It doesn't really count. But we like to fuck with water around these parts. But we like to... Fuck with... Fuck with... But we like to fuck with water around these parts. Yeah, we just... We just mess around with water all the time. Good times. Oh, you mean those cruises? Okay, this is not really a river cruise. Wait, no, this is bigger than I thought it was. Chat? No. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Your wife wants to go to the Netherlands. I get it. But this, this is in Belgium. Are you sure? That's just refueling? Oh, okay. All right. Drinks. <laughs> just drink from the river, dude. Dutch water is very clean. Enkhuizen is not in Belgium? Enkhuizen is not, but Antwerp is. Still better than Friesland. That's true. Yeah, no, I will agree with that part. Look, this is what you guys will look like on that cruise. This is a picture of Sisset and his wife. Oh, well, it didn't work. Right, right, <laughs> right, right over here, man. Yeah, no. Now these people are 36. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're about 36, give or take. Very fun. Good times. Ah, 63, 36. What's the difference, dude? I love how this. I I just love everything about. This website. It's very American. First off, it's called Viking River Cruises. Now, the Netherlands and Belgium are known for things, but not really. Anyways, 10 days, 8 guided tours, 2 countries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 200, 3,000 bucks? That's pretty expensive, man. That's a lot of money. That, that's that's uh, a lot of money. You'd have to fly too, I guess, right? Or is this including the flight? Oh my god, it gets more expensive. Right? Or is this including the flight? Oh my god, it gets more expensive than that. Amsterdam to Amsterdam. Bro, it's booked up until 2025? So yeah, it says two countries. One of them is Europe. <laughs> you bring up a good point. What's the second country? River boats are going hard, man. Yeah, holy crap. So, yeah, it says two countries. One of them is Europe. <laughs> you bring up a good point. What's the second country? The river boats are going hard, man. Yeah, holy crap. I would, I would not do the Netherlands one if, if I were you. I mean, there are some nice places, I'm sure. Some nice rivers to, uh, to boat on. But I would not pick the Netherlands if I were you. I see a bunch more on that list. Some nicer choices, man. You could take the train. <laughs> yeah, you could take the train from Amsterdam to Antwerp for like probably 40 bucks. Give or take. This is much cheaper, man. <laughs> it doesn't take 10 days either. It's pretty quick. You can get there in a few hours. Wanted to do the one that went all the way to Austria? I, I was thinking more like further south to like maybe Italy or Spain or something in that direction. But, I don't know. Obviously, you can do whatever you like, but, um... I guess in my mind, the Netherlands is not very exotic. Like, no, I've actually never been to Italy myself, either. It's, 
it's the same uh, country. Because it's funny, because... Because it's funny, because it's the same uh, country as Europe, you know? <gasps> no. There's one that goes all the way to Bucharest? Hmm. It depends, I guess, on when you go. But, like, if you go on a... cruise in the Netherlands. This is the first time I learned of those, but it can be really shitty weather. It can be really sh shitty weather. Like, I would say that most of the time the weather is pretty shitty. It's, it's probably really fun when it's, you know, good weather out, but if it's, like, kind of cold and rainy and stuff, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's going on, Mutlasis? We were just talking about the great country. Mutlasis has been into the great You were talking about shitty weather. We got plenty of shitty weather over here. Although, oh no, it was, it was actually very, very sweaty. Sweaty gamers. France was freezing. What's the bottleneck now? Man, it's expensive though, dude. 7.3k? Man, it's expensive though, dude. 7.3k? So this one goes all the way from Amsterdam to Romania. Like that is, that is quite the trip. Like that is a, a long ass distance. This is for 23 days. Yeah, okay. This seems like 10 times more fun than the first time you showed to me, but... This is for 23 days. Yeah, okay. This seems... This is for 23 days. Yeah, okay. This seems like 10 times more fun than the first time you showed to me, but like, that's mostly because... I don't know, I just... Yeah, maybe it's because I live here. Yeah, this one is for a long ass time. I'm assuming this includes like food and everything, right? Although, it, although it doesn't specify that. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Day. Oh, it shows you where you're gonna stop day by day. You know, people all across the world come to the Kinderdijk in the Netherlands. I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> People are coming all across the world to see these fucking windmills. I live like half an hour away. I've never been. Should I go there one day? I feel like I should go just for the experience. <clears throat> yeah, this looks cool though. Koblenz in Germany. You have a lot of like... Yeah, this looks pretty sick. This looks a lot more fun. Through Austria, but this is also really fucking expensive. Through Austria, but this this is also really really fucking expensive. It's also really expensive. We should do an IRL stream to the Kinder deck. Yeah, that's what we should do. <laughs> you lived in the Bay Area, you've never seen the Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah, same thing. I can imagine if you live in New York City, you're also not gonna, you know, visit uh, the, the, the Statue of Liberty very frequently. Statue of Liberty very frequently. I can imagine it just doesn't really appeal that much anymore. You went to Times Square like once or twice? I feel like I should at least go to some of those that people go to. There's this thing called the Kokohof that people absolutely love. My parents go like, I don't, I don't know, every 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 time it's open. So this is available like I think like two like two months a year or something. So this is basically like one of those tulip garden things. 
So this is uh, very Dutch. Keukenhof is what it's called. I've never been. But since the tulips only bloom for like a certain period of the year, right? Um, you can't just go year round and I, I don't know. We, we hear about it every time after they've closed again and we're like, oh shit, we should have gone. They've closed again and we're like, oh shit. We should have gone. Yeah, exactly. It sounds kind of fun to be a tourist in your own country. I, I agree. We should definitely go someday. Who's we? Me and you, obviously, Echo Soldier. Of course. Of course. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't talking. I was talking about me and Laurent, but yeah, I know there was some drama of gardens and think thinking they could stand between the tulips and trampling them and all that sort of yeah fun times yeah fucking influencers am i right jeez yeah fucking in yeah fucking in fucking influencers am i right jeez i hate influencers echo soldier anyways Speaking of influence, or influencers, can I interest you guys in some Prime Gaming? Or subscribing, or hitting the follow button. Heading on over to my Twitter, hitting the follow button over there. You can do so many things. Being part of the Discord channel, discord.gg slash locodv. Any primers in the chat? Yeah. Anyways, speaking of influence, or influencers, can I interest you guys in some Prime Gaming? Or subscribing, or hitting the follow button. Heading on over to my Twitter, hitting the follow button over there. You can do so many things. Being part of the Discord channel, discord.gg slash locodv. Any primers in the chat? Yeah. You already did? Very nice walk step by step. Now I should do the influencer thing where I guilt trip you. Because of you, Perdulio, my cats will eat another day. <laughs> God. I have heard some horror stories of other influencers, man. event if you could move out of <laughs> now, we, now we have a death now we have this is actually kind of nuts this is a long time ago but <laughs> now, we, now we have a desk well we have a desk and we have, a... uh, we have jack kale so that's all good don't walk through the shot what an idiot <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> so there's just a random dude that somehow walks through the shot i don't understand how this happened <laughs> now, we, now we have a desk. Well, we have a desk and yeah, uh, we have Janet Kale, so that's all good. Don't walk the shot. What an idiot. Well, it's all good. Don't walk the shot. What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> okay, well, we are well, back and, you know, well, it's... Uh, Sorry, what? You're on camera right now. What? So if you could move out of the shot, that would be great. Sorry, what? If you could move out of the shot, that would be great. What did you call me? If you could move out of the shot, that would be great. What did you call me? What are you doing? Do, 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 do. Wow. <laughs> What? Like, I asked you not to go backstage, you ignored me, and now you're in the middle of the shot. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's just calm it down. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, no? Was that me? Yeah, yeah, I snuck to I Am Toronto. That's pretty nuts, yeah. Sometimes think back of that particular moment, I'm like, what would I have done if I was in that situation? Average StarCraft fan? That guy's probably a kind of rusher. Yeah, good chance. Good chance that guy is a kind of rusher. Yeah. This guy, yeah. Yeah, long story short, I talked about it earlier today on stream, but long story short, I had to get a CT scan. But I understand. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's not the thing. There's these, it's these, these little bones. They named those bones. Pull from like behind that bone be uh, moisture. I looked up my qualifications of my doctor. He actually, so he knows roughly what I do for a living. 
his, his room, right? Where, where ours after the room. Are you in a chat called Ear Man? <laughs> Emoji. Well, I, yeah, here's dude. Something that's accessible. Makes sense. Are we spraying this? Are we spraying this? Are we spraying this? Are we spraying this? Bro, are we spraying this? Are we spraying this? Bro, we're not spraying this. What the heck? So anyways, fingers crossed it's nothing. Huh? <laughs> he was a pick me girl. I, uh, I occasionally see this guy pop up again on the internet. Gen Z Bible stories is what it's called. Biblical stories for Gen Mary was a pick me girl. Dude, I- Yeah, so anyways, fingers crossed this- Mary was, a Mary was a pick me girl. Dude, I love that- That, uh... That TikTok account very much. I think it's very funny. Most TikTok videos are very cringe. <laughs> but that TikTok account is very funny. Biblical stories for Gen Z or whatever is what it's called. I, uh, I occasionally see this guy pop up again on the internet. Gen Z Bible stories is what it's called. Dude, this account got made like a few weeks ago. Or at least it feels like it. They're up to 3.4 million likes, which is kind of nuts. After Jesus started live streaming in the chat, after After Jesus started live streaming in the chat, after Jesus started live streaming in the chat filled up, he began to go off saying, W to those who aren't thirsty for this midlife, for they will have eternal life. W to those who take L's from this life, for they will receive an everlasting W. W to those who don't throw hands, for they will secure the eternal bath. W to those who want help passing God's vibe check, for he will say bet. W to those who don't cancel others, for they will not be canceled by the top G. W to those whose spiritual fit is immaculate, for their hearts will be cuffed by God. W to those who turn ops into bros, for they will be called CEOs of peace. W to those who catch hands for being valid, for they will not be left unread by God. W to you when the ops be capping hard, and to you so very dirty because you're my fan. Trust, you have crushed it. And have the eternal W. It's so great. The true bro. <laughs> it's so funny. But like, it's like a lot of uploads and only rarely do they get views. It's very random. Yeah, some of the videos get insane views and then some others just don't. This is, the, the TikTok algorithm is wild. Okay, one, one more. Oh, why is this one super quiet? What the heck? Okay. Thank you very much, Pass. I don't know if he's actually like taking videos offline. I don't know. After Gabriel ghosted Mary. <laughs> After Gabriel ghosted Mary. It's it's the Christmas story. What a beautiful time. Thank you very much, Pessy, for the 25 months. <laughs> After Gabriel. So good. Uh, so good. After Gabriel goes to Mary. <sighs> oh, it's actually very clever. I think the guy is actually very serious about it too. He's unironically trying to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of missionary work, but he's doing it, you know, in a in a very clever, clever way. Because it hasn't been done before. Not as far as I know, anyways. It really is kind of kind of brilliant. Yeah, he's doing it very smartly. No, I don't think you make a lot of money on TikTok. It's an interesting thing. They make quite a bit of money. Most of that money does not go to the... I don't know. I just think the, the, concept, of, the concept of it is very funny. W to those. Mary was a pick-me girl. I, just, I don't even understand half of what he's saying. The creator, the big G. So, the everlasting W. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, a chicken.
manipulate America. Uh, now it's building pretty slowly. Currently the 12th of January, 2024. My name is Loco. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Hope you're all doing all right. Uh, today we're going to do some StarCraft 2 and a little bit of Dyson Sphere for a change. You know, we have not done that ever before. So a little bit of StarCraft first and then a little bit of Dyson Sphere. I want to go ahead and cast it. Uh, yeah. I will agree. Everything that he does. Pretty straightforward. Sarah will explain everything that he does. This is gonna be a good. Sarah, fair. Sarah will explains everything that he does. Sarah will explains everything that he does. This is gonna be a good clip. I'm excited. Sarah will explains everything he does. What? Can I explain everything I do? I don't think there's any need for that. <laughs> he knows he's a troll too, man. That's the best part about him. A lot of people don't quite realize that Cyril is a bit of a jokester. I think a lot of people assume he's serious all the time. But, um... Yeah, it's very deadpan, absolutely. Just a little, just a little. No, he's definitely a jokester. Summer <sighs> Jadong versus... Bro, why does this video immediately look like it's also a decade old? <laughs> Such a long time. Team Hex Summer, Jadong versus Serral, game two. But game number two is now starting up. Down at the bottom left. Bro, why does this video immediately look like it's also... Why did every video look so shitty for such a long time? God. Why did every video look so shitty for... Looks so for such a long time. Down at the bottom left hand side as our red <laughs> zerg. <laughs> it's 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 old, I get it, but down at the bottom left hand side Just the alt tabbing Justin.tv slash twitch. That's where he's streaming live? No, he's streaming on Duckville. What is this? He's alt tabbing over here. So that's StarCraft, that's Chrome. What is this? I have no idea. Side as our red Zerg player, same team as Elfie and it is so it is Saral. Fubar! That's what it is, you're right. And his uh, very, very strong opponent across at the top right hand side as our blue Zerg player. Bro, it's hilarious to me that Saro is not considered to be a very strong player here. That's funny. So this is about five years before Saro won everything. So 2013 is like years before Saro actually got good. I need to go for, but back at home, had a lot of protection. Look at this. 11 minutes into the game, both players are on two base. Keep in mind that Spockrel is now three shot mutilists. If they're so strong, or is it three or is it four? It's it's one of those numbers there. But uh, <laughs> as we can see, continuing on the. <laughs> That's my favorite analytical commentary. I've heard in a while. You give the viewers a specific bit of information, you're very unsure about yourself too. That's great. These attacks, this is what you really need to do if you're very far behind your opponent in the mute account or you don't have your own muters at all. To make sure that That's funny. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Has anyone tried the upgrade? That's funny. Uh -oh. What are you even saying right now? What, what's going on in this? I still have to get a scan in early, but I don't think I'm gonna pay for a. Mm -mm. See how it goes. It's not a, uh, no, it's not something. Appreciate that, dude. I mentioned this twice, I think, already yesterday, but long, uh, I need to get an MRI scan to confirm. Ah, uh, this is that, uh, that's because I have one ear. Yeah, my last three couple months. Nothing all too crazy, just anatomically, uh, yeah, Here's the thing, I'm a jig of your ear. Have I tried turning my ear off again and then on again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, supposedly, if it is the worst case scenario, they would have to remove these three bones. And replace it with like a uh, artificial one, which would make me a somewhat of an android. So I got that going for me. That's kind of cool. Um, but hopefully it is not necessary. A 3D printed ear. Yeah, basically. Nah, it's okay. Honestly, which is really nice.
Nobody care of. You started asking for advice. Pretty. Anyone supposed to break into this game? I put for ages. How come? People have so many times on this stream. I exact watch. I was looking for cool guide to watches that people. That is basically the same strategy that skill level. This is very true. Here, yeah, this is the one that I was looking for. Cool guide to watches. This is a noob. Yeah, yeah, that's a good mindset. And yeah, everyone who's better than me is a Korean pub. What's this? Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. That is basically the same strategy. That's Did it. You hear about? I think this is one of the. Are so good. We're not redoing the thing. They were right. cute watch. Okay, so projects though. Not just about watches. Also, really true. There's a bunch of really cool uh, what they refer to as Flieger in every video. Starcraft League. It's time for a best of five series. I hope I'm not misplacing too hard, guys, or misplaying rather too hard. I think I'm doing okay, right? Since I have a lot more gold, it's very easy for me to waste a lot of it too. Like a lot of time, because you know Don't I need I need it to read what the cards do. I think I'm just gonna keep tacking for gold. Battle cry? You're no. I need to keep one gold in my hand. I have a friendly minion, plus three health and taunt. That's kind of what I want, right? I think I'm gonna save for that actually. That's fine. Funky as that sounds. You're doing great out there. I want to taunt somebody. Uh, I need to keep one gold in my hand. Who da taunt my death? Set your, your blood gems give an extra plus one. Banner bore? Yeah, is he just not worth it anymore? Okay. I guess Charl guy is just like a better version of it. So I'm gonna taunt you. I'm gonna play you both. Oh wait, I can't. After just giving it insane stats. Oh. Banner bore? Yeah, is he just not worth it anymore? Oh, guys, just like a better version. Okay. Stuff. Um. I don't know. Here. Everybody take one. Only problem is that I have no idea what I'm looking for right now. That worgen is kind of nasty, yeah. Oh, discover a new hero power. So I kind of just go. Whoa! <laughs> Bristleback. Play. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Your blood gems give an extra plus one attack this game. Just, I, I guess. Your blood gems give an extra. No idea what I'm looking for right now. Your blood gems give an extra plus one attack this game. That's what I would. I don't think it really makes much of a difference, but maybe I can do some sick wombo combo over here. Bristleback, play two. Whoa! Oh my god, that would have been sick. Play two blood gems after it kills a bunch of shit on your quill bore. I don't shit. On Kills a bunch of shit. Kills a bunch of on your quill bore. I don't think I can really play that here. Although I guess I can sell Rivendare still, but his his stats are just ludicrous now. I think we just roll with what I've got. I think I just roll with what I have. Dude, this card is mental. That thing is so sick. I would love another one of them. I mean, I basically just have a handful of triples in my... Uh, oh shit, no, I actually removed the taunt. I forgot triples in my... Uh, okay, well, I guess... I'll... We'll freeze. Here, buy this. Get, get that. Get, get that. Get... Buy this.
get, get that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! No, I actually removed the taunt. I forgot about it. I thought it would only get plus two. Oh shit! That actually is a misplay. Oh shit! That That actually, oh, that actually is a misplay. Um, you got this. You're I forgot ahead. that it would remove taunt. That's the first time I've ever done that. Okay, commit Sudoku. Oh! It's fine, it's fine. I think I'm still more. Go. I accidentally did the sickest BM of my life, guys. I removed the taunt. <laughs> Hey! There it is. That's my first win after playing this game again. That was really fun. Sick. You know, when you get like, um... Comfortable with these type of games, right? When, when you play it for a while, you kind of just buy whatever you like in the first few rounds. And then you just pivot into what the game gives you, right? And that's kind of the knowledge I don't currently have. Like, my first few rounds, I kind of just commit to something, and that's kind of shitty. But now I kind of start to get the hang of some of the... Kind of the knowledge I don't currently have. Like, my first few rounds, I kind of just commit to something, and that's kind of shitty. But... And that's kind of... Kind of shitty. That's kind of... Kind of shitty. But now I kind of start to get the hang of some of the some of the basic options in the game, which feels nice. Just like real life, just like real life, man. Yeah. Basically, what you do is you fuck around for a while and then you play video, man. Yeah. You go to university for. Basically, what you do is you fuck around for a while. You do is you. around for a while and then you play video games for a living right I think that's the build order you go to university for like seven years and then um, somehow you play video games for a living I don't know if it's really a good comparison but if you die in real life just try again absolutely yeah if being a Quillborg does not work for you in real life consider not being a Quillborg next time around in your next playthrough you know Anyways, guys, with that bit of advice, I'm gonna be heading off. I hope you all enjoy the people hanging out here. Realize this, but apparently Eva holds the world like that. Re that record, it's a little. Old. Don't miss the piss. No, I don't think that's very good. I will, I will put it up here. We'll make like a couple different. I don't really like it because it'll probably be effective. Don't miss the piss. No, I don't think that's very good, but thank you for your suggestion. Appreciate you thinking along. Okay. You like the zoomage? To zoom in a little bit more. I may have to put my ugly face in the corner, though. I think I am going to put my face in the corner. Yeah, I am going to put my face in the corner. Plus, I'll like X because I think. Get the crystal thingamajig of the Nexus over the text because I think it looks cool. We'll fetter it a little bit. Oh, what happened? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. I should put my face on the Nexus. Um, no, I don't want to be pissed. Brainstorming session is going. I want to be pissed on by Corruptors, man. But thank you for uh, the suggestion. Again, I appreciate you thinking along. This brainstorming session. Put my face on the Nexus. Um, no, I don't want to be pissed on by Corruptors, man, but thank you for, uh, the suggestion. Again, I appreciate you thinking along. This brainstorming session is going really well, but also getting a little weird, guys. Nice tentacles. Yeah, see, as soon as the, the tentacles show showed up, it, it got a little strange, apparently. Maybe that's why Corruptors seem to be such a clickbaity unit. Bro, is that why? There's, like, certain things you can put on thumbnails that people love, love to click on, and Corruptors seem to be one of them. Ultralisk are another one. 
Maybe people just want to... Yeah, dude, that's it. It's the... Maybe people just want to... Yeah, dude, that's it. It's the tentacles and the... Man, I feel kind of bad now. Mutalisks too? Mutalisks also are... I mean, mutas are very rare these days, I guess. In general, you don't really see them that often. But mutas are not as exciting, I guess. Okay. This is well worth it, right? Asking all of this thing out. Am I doing this with the mouse? Um, I use... I used to have, like, one of those drawing pads, but, um... I prefer... just clicking. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> Fix the K? The bottom one? Man, you guys take the, centi the, the tentacles very serious. There's an overlap. I'm just observing this in the chat, but there seems to be an overlap between the guys that are very excited about the tentacles and the people that usually proudly proclaim... Just an observation. What do I make? All right, all right, all right, all right. What sort of face do I make? We gotta do a poggers face, right? Now I gotta put my face over here in the bottom right hand corner. What sort of... F now I gotta put my face... We gotta do a poggers face, right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Just an observation, Bobo. Don't be offended. No, 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 not at all. Mental much, Loco? No, 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 not at all. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> a poggers face, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Sellout bar also has to be hidden for a sec. We gotta- okay, okay. Sellout bar also has to be hidden. We gotta- okay, okay. Is that it? It was- was that it? I'm, is that it? It was- was that it? Amazing. Is that it? It was, was it? was that it? Amazing. Am amazing stuff. Quality content on my stream as per usual. Here we go. That is already strong. That, that's already uh that's already a thumbnail worth. Does it get any better? <laughs> no. No, it got worse. The first shot is <laughs> it the first shot is usually the best. Yeah, no, usually, usually the. F <laughs> it's too extreme. It becomes too much. It see, it's too much. I think, I think the first one is better. Yeah, yeah, no, I think the first one's better. Look, guys, hate the player. Wait, no, hate the hate the game, not the player. You can hate the player too, I guess. It's okay. I don't really love that this needs to be done for YouTube thumbnails, but again, there's no denying it's very effective. I'm not a huge fan of it. Oh god. I'm not a, not a huge fan of it, I'll be honest with you. Am I starting an OnlyFans? No, 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 but thank you for asking though. I'll take it as a compliment. It misses an arrow? There is no arrow yet. You're right. Um... No arrow? No arrow yet, Chet. I wanna be... Freak out! We'll get there, we'll get... Can I make my shirt more green? I wanna be, um... The very best. Like, no one will be the same color as the Corruptors, is that- <laughs> Okay, it's a little too fake, guys. It's- a, We can lower- <laughs> Okay, it's a little too fake, guys. It's a, We can lower the intensity. There you go, there you go. It's far more green than it was. It works. The Corruptors are red? I meant the Corruptor piss, Chad. Come on, do I really need to spell it out for you? You already knew what I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um... Am I wearing... 
I don't like the way Outer Glows look. I think Outer Glows... Oh, oh, that works. Tentacles coming out of me. <laughs> I have to puke as well. Which color is the best color, guys? <laughs> I, have to... I should draw some tentacles coming out of me. Did I get the... Cor I don't like the way Outer Glows... Oh, oh, that works. Am I wearing a green shirt? Yeah, it's, it's green-ish. Oh, oh, that works. I don't like the way Outer Glows look. I think it helps separate stuff. Did I get the Corruptor Treat? Draw some tentacles coming out of me. Chet. No. Which color is the best color, guys? No. <laughs> I have to puke as well <laughs> on the next. <laughs> That's such a dumb idea that I'm actually going to do it for a sec. Just, just me. I have to separate one. I have to separate one of the lines. I think this one's probably the easiest one. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Need to have at least a little bit of a mask on there, because otherwise it looks weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. So fucking dumb. <laughs> All right, chat. See, maybe. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> fucking dumb. Fucking. So fucking. <laughs> Alright, chat. See, maybe this is why I should not be making these sorts of things live on stream. <clears throat> or maybe exactly the reason why I should. Or maybe exactly the reason why I should. <laughs> That's really stupid. You came back to this, Brusik? What do you mean, dude? What seems to be the problem, officer? <sighs> this video will surpass Gangnam Style on YouTube. You th think so? Mm, I don't know. For the dedication to the flowers. Brian replaced one of the bad, bad words with a happy word. Thank you very much, Seshi, for the 52 months. He did not say flowers. Flowers was not one of the words that was written in that resub message. Yo, Rumpus! Oh no, Heart Nepper is ruining it. Oh, Brian. Brian swear. Yeah, this is true. Text to speech manual for Pepega. Which is kind of amazing. Document. Can somebody swear? Yeah, this is true. Creative spelling. Flies fuck. Flowers, <laughs> bunnies, butterflies fuck. Every once in a while. Flower. To swear. Every once. He's cheated his. Oh no, Heart Nepper is ruining I appreciate that. Oh no. Oh no, Heart Nepper is ruining it again. And he's cheated his <laughs> He's cheated Brian. It's okay, it's okay. We allow we allow Brian to wear every once in a while. Flowers, bunnies, butterflies, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Flies. <laughs> With creative spelling, you can make Brian swear. Yeah, this is true. You just have to know the secrets. There's a document. Can somebody type exclamation point Brian? Is that document still up? 
The Brian text-to-speech manual for Pepegas. So, people have spent a lot of time writing up documents on the exact way that Brian talks. Which is kind of amazing. Also slightly worrisome, because this is a 36-page long document. There's actual in-depth documentation on exactly how this works. It's kind of amazing. Look at this. Frame blocking, windowing, auto-correction analysis, LPC analysis, parameter conversion. Yeah, this is required reading for Artosis viewers. Artosis viewers, read this one before the stream begins. Hey, hey, we made it 111 months. Very much, Chris. Phonetic alphabet support. The ch charts below present the full set of IPA and X Sempa. F okay, yeah, sure. Oh my lord, dude, look at. <laughs> Uh, they've they've put in a lot of work. They've put in a lot of time. It's very funny, but also slightly worrisome. All right, guys. It's very funny, but also slightly worrisome. All right, guys. I can't just throw this away. You think I should do this version instead of the other one? All right, guys. I can't just throw this away. You think I should do this version instead of the other one? I will upload two versions. One of them with, one of them without. Yeah, we're gonna A, B, B test them. We're gonna A, B test them. Can we get a vote? You vote with your viewers. Okay. You know which one's gonna win? I actually don't know for sure. I would imagine it's this one, but I don't know. Because it's so weird. Okay. Perfect, guys. Alright, guys. That settles that, man. What did I do? No, 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 don't worry about it, man. You arrived to nothing. Loco hates democracy? Absolutely. What settles that, man? What did I do? No, 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 don't worry about it, man. You arrived to nothing. Loco hates democracy? Absolutely. You guys thought this was a democracy type of stream? No, 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 no. It's a democracy until the decisions need to be made, guys. When the kids need to be given a map in Frostpunk. When the sawdust has to be added to the soup. When the child labor law needs to be in effect. <laughs> democracy no longer works. Frostpunk 2 should actually be coming out sometime. From what I understand, they made the moral questions in that. I really hope that a good amount of time. It's just. 825 train up 